レーナに聞いて知っているわ男の人はこういうことをすると喜ぶって What's going on, YouTube? My name is Vitamin East, and welcome back to some King Core Golden Leverage. This is episode 21. If you've not seen the previous episode, go ahead and watch it, please. Now, if you did see the previous episode, though, you're probably like, yo, what happened last episode, the end of last episode? If you did not get it, which I don't know how you didn't get it because I literally said it, like, as soon as it happened, Sylvie was basically gonna blow the freak out of, uh, what's his face, Odo? Like, suck him dry type thing i don't I, you know and i was like whoa that's crazy i ended up skipping that because an episode what was it 19 where where auto bone sylvie i uploaded that video thinking i was gonna get in trouble by youtube and i did kind of they age restricted the video so if you're under 18 you probably can't see it but if you're over 18 or 18 and up you probably saw it probably now what does this mean well, TikTok definitely did get me in trouble, so I decided that I was going to get rid of the 18 plus patch. So what I did here while I was editing episode 20, which I'm currently uploading at the moment, I'm looking at the computer from. So what I did was when I was editing episode 20, I was looking at where the lewd part would start from the patch. And so I went on here on, you know, here, what you're looking at here now to the point before she's going to blow him and to see if the patch went away successfully and it did I, de I just deleted it how i showed you guys the i just deleted it and i still have it saved just in case but i took it out because i will no longer be showing it in the videos because even if i censor youtube's gonna come for me tiktok's gonna come for me and it's just not good for anyone right uh but uh anything else i wanted to say it, it sucks a little but honestly i'm kind of glad about it because it definitely sucks a little, but it is what it is. You know, nowadays, YouTube and TikTok are a lot more stricter, which is understandable. There's some weird stuff out there sometimes, you know, or at least back in the day, it was a lot wilder five, ten years ago. But now it's definitely a lot more controlled, which is good. And not so good, you know, depending on what way you look for it, depending from what way or from which point of view you're looking at. But it is what it is, unfortunately. So from now on, with the visual novels, at least these kinds, or any kinds, I guess, we have to get rid of all the porn possible, even if we censor, because censoring does not do anything, apparently. But all of that to say, I saved it to the point without the patch where she's about to give him a head. Or she's about to give him head, but obviously since we don't have the patch anymore, it's just going to skip right through it. It's just going to jump cut, basically. So before this, it would have been her sucking him dry. But now, it's just a jump cut. But anyways, sorry about the long intro. I just wanted to tell you guys about this because it was a little scary. When I uploaded episode 20 or 19, excuse me, I was really nervous. I thought I was going to get my channel taken down. But you know what? Let's not play with that anymore. Better safe than sorry. Anyways, thanks to how quickly Sylvie rushed home yesterday. <laughs> After getting blown, oh yeah. Yeah. This was a happy side effect. <laughs> oh. We did have a rather scary looking escort though. <laughs> Tell her, come on, Ellie. Tell her. Tell her why you're so spicy about. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> so we blatantly preferred me over work at this point. That would be an issue from Alison's point of view. On the flip side, it would kind of suck if she gave work preference over me, so I hope we could find some sort of middle ground in time though. Sylvie's assertiveness was understandable as it would be an entirely different story if she'd skip out on work and she left little room for Ellis on the complain. Oh. Hmm? 
a certain pair of students just so happened to pass us by. So we invited them like it was only natural. Hmm? We looked at Jogosaki a bit apologetically. They looked like they had a prior engagement. What's that all about? Largest gathering I've ever seen in this visual novel. Myself, Sui, Elisan, Reina, Minachan, Naria, and Jogasaki. An outing with seven people really might be a bit much. <laughs> the conversation led Mina Chan picking out the restaurant. Although she looked a little put out, she looked like she was having fun. Everyone else had equally cheerful expressions. This was shaping up to be one entertaining outing. Hmm? So that was the one thing that bugged me? This was the first day off we shared since we became boyfriend and girlfriend. Alone time had an appealing ring to it. It's fine, I wanted Sylvia to enjoy herself today. I've literally chosen anyone and you chose Ayaka? Are you serial? まずいところの いきなし。なし。調べてみますわ。私のこの日本に来ての目標の一つが日本の美味しいと言われてる料理を制覇する。寿司天ぷら、藤山芸者。ついに二つ目に手を出せたわ。そう。あと二つは食べるのは難しい
bros. I'm just out of my element is all. <laughs> Everyone was getting along, Jogasaki included, with Sylvie at the center. Back when we were little, I thought we were the ones who invited Sylvie to hang out with us. But maybe she was actually the one who invited us. Hmm? She has a point, she has a point. Clankfish. Spirited restaurant owner saw us off. Hmm. Yeah, totally. It was good, but. Oh, for seven people, I mean. Hmm. I bet Jogasaki had been describing the sort of restaurant that had an indoor garden with white stones sprawled along the ground, and they served you with gigantic bamboo leaves on their plates. The restaurant we'd taken her to was a pretty cheap place, all things considered. For lunch, we'd have fried veggie and seafood bowls. The shrimp was so tiny. It was thickly coated in oil and totally immersed in a salty sweet sauce. Didn't seem like it suited Jogasaki's refined taste. It's delicious for our commoner polite, though. Tempura really does taste better when it's soaked in this unidentifiable sort of veal sauce. It does, but it's delicious. Someone hit her with a car. Yup, yup, yup. You tell her. People may say we've got idiotic taste buds since everything tastes delicious, but that means we'll have more enjoyable culinary experiences overall. Monkey! Yeah. Yeah, take that. It was a fun lunch. Interesting. Given the size of our group and how both Sylvie and Mina-chan stood out like sore thumbs, we avoided walking around too much and quickly headed back to the academy. It was a little disappointing to head home so soon, though. Already? Huh. The mood ended up naturally carrying us toward the academy. Upon our return, we noticed several club activities were still in session. We spotted a familiar girl in the track club. We were going to avoid interrupting their practice. Uh-huh. This was probably the best spot for it. This area was usually deserted over vacations, save for the occasional use by the Academy's musical groups. えー、お姉様、せっかくですから、1曲お願いできますかしら。お。うん、急に言われると困っちゃうわね。どんな曲がいいかしら。なんでも。だからそれが一番困るんだったら。そうね。So oh. oh. we took a seat at the piano. With a troubled smile, she placed her fingers against the keys. But the instant she began to play, she transformed into the world's most exceptional pianist. Of course, this was a common sight for us. But Reina and Jogasaki, who had very little exposure, were overwhelmed. Oh yeah, you haven't had a chance to see much of pianist Sylvie, have you? Ah, this is the second time. She seemed pleased, based on the way her eyes popped open. I wonder how Sylvie's song came across to someone with perfect pitch. I was curious, but this was a rare performance. Better keep quiet. Ugh. The sun had finally set. Our group eventually split up to resume our regular routine. When... Yep. What do you want? 
An unexpected character called to us. Didn't seem like something she wanted the others to hear, so we put some distance between us. Uh-huh. 100% probably the case. Hmm? She was asking a favor of someone? Me? For that matter? This was one heck of an incident. She's not my friend. <laughs> nope, nope. Jogosaki looked a bit hesitant after being so casually lumped in as a friend. And what she had to say was a scandal for certain. Maria Bishop. Going to quit? <laughs> oh. What? Why did I think they already knew? Whoops. My mind went blank. Sylvie and I were nothing short of flabbergasted. Yep. But after some time passed, she nodded her head as if she'd come to some understanding. Dog. Let her retire. Jogosaki shrugged with exasperation. It was you and Ruzoji that connected Maria to the TV station, right? Mm. Well, I was sure Maria built herself up from obscurity to fire popularity, but they likely had a hand in fanning those flames. <laughs> Business purposes. I'm not so sure about that phrasing. Jogasaki turned away. Well, that was enough about Jogasaki for now. I really wanted to know why Ryo was considering an early retirement. And it would obviously bother me to no end if the Maria Bishop called it quits now. But... There we go. Yeah. Yeah. She has a crippling cigarette addiction. Huh? Wait a minute. Does she know something we don't? Oh, good timing, Ellie. She just saved her, so. Yeah. So we head back to her estate. Guess there was no chance we could hang out until nighttime today. Oh well, not much I could do about that. More importantly, yeah, yeah. Rhea! Rhea, you're here? Well, yeah, it's the evening. You would be. The player's guide does say random encounters happen most frequently on the roof at night. Are uh, you for real? Are you? I heard my real bishop's retiring. The way she shrugged was like, you heard? Are you for real? Seriously? Ria shook her head and clenched my shoulders as I wobbled. But why are you dropping off? Didn't get why she was quitting. So we did seem to know something though. Absolutely. If something up? Like, is some mysterious organization after your life and they ordered you not to sing or something? Then why? Huh? Rio frowned, looking like she didn't want to say. Ordinarily, I'd probably go, I see, 
and be done with it. But I couldn't back down so easily today. I was a serious fan after all. I wanted to hear the reason at least. I kept badgering her and... <sighs> もともとマリアビショップなんて妙な職業をやる気じゃなかったんだよ。そっちの評価でこのノーブル学園に入学できたおかげでシルビーやお前と再会できたこれ以上は何も望まないって思ったらもう続ける意味ないと思ったのShe told me that as calmly and bluntly as possible. She had calmly identified the reason she would quit. Sounded like Ria had given the idea a lot of thought and she had come to that decision. Dang. In which case, there was nothing I could say. It was seriously, seriously disappointing. But if this was the conclusion she came to then, as her friend, I should support her. I do. I got it, but can't accept it. I don't want you to quit from the bottom of my heart. And I'm also a fan who believes it's totally realistic you can make a comeback. I wouldn't accept her retirement, nor would I stand in her way. The middle of the road approach ought to suffice. Shrugged my shoulders. ちょっとずつ仕事の量を減らしてくけど、今すぐすっぱりってわけじゃない。I if at all possible, I wish you'd put on that long black wig and tell me you're the only one. <laughs> no way she's actually gonna do it. Ria went up into the water. Take okay, good. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Oh man. We were alone for the first time in ages. And we watched the setting sun. いや、今のマリアがこれなんだよ。今が一番輝いてる時、ゴールデンタイムで。でもきっと。触れちゃう寸前なんだ。なら、くれきる前に姿を消したい。最後まで格好つけてたい。俺。間違ってる。ビッツ
Dorm objectives? My shoe, I don't know. It's in it's in Gomi or Hiroi Mashoto, so not Kanji. Ah, it's usually super ambiguous stuff, but sometimes super ambitious tasks get added when extended vacations, athletic festivals, or the like come around. Probably like the class objectives we had in elementary school. Oh, so, Ji. That's in a credit, you see, no, 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 All of our first years are such good girls. For real, for real. These major cleanups were a pain, plain and simple. Hey, yo. That's, that's our girl's job. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> like it rain. <laughs> the first years really do work hard, don't they? We couldn't slack off after seeing how hard everyone else was working. Oh boy. <laughs> Shoving your hands in the water this time of year is a mouthful of torture. These two were the same as ever. You look like you're having fun cleaning, Mina-chan. Wow, what a good girl. She happily cleaned and dusted the windows. Mina-chan was very princess-like in a much different sense from Sylvie, yet not at the same time. Right, right. When I saw her working so diligently, I just had to follow her lead. May as well put in some effort. Mm -hmm. What kind of reward we're talking? <laughs> a reward. It wasn't like the promise of a reward had sold me on it, but after spending the rest of the day cleaning... Zoe, so why? Minachan had asked me to clear my schedule that evening, and I was greeted with a pleasant surprise. Sevi came along and was rocking side to side in her limousine. <laughs> totally high strung Sylvie and a proud Mina chan. Apparently, Mina chan had arranged everything. Sure. I was shoved into the limousine. この後各国の大使を招いて忘年会のようなことをするな。私はホストだから、さすがに無関係のオールを招くと色々勘ぐられるって、エルに言われてたんだけど。私がゲストとして参加しますの。名義は適当に。で、ゲストが参加するということは一
私のメガネにかなう程度の振る舞いはしていただきます。Yes, Master. よろしくて。Yes. <笑>大丈夫よ。オーロはどこに出しても恥ずかしくない紳士だわ。Sorry was carefree, but this was a ton of pressure. Perhaps I wasn't as lucky as I first thought. Probably not. By the time we arrived at the consulate, a crowd of people from various countries and races had gathered together. I put on a suit that was prepared for me. よろしいですか、市松殿。場の空気をつかみ、空気に上手く乗ることです。空気に流されず、空気に流される。バランス感覚を大事にしてください。オッケー。よっ。よっ、よっ。We So we greeted us as our host. Unfortunately, it didn't change the fact so we was on duty and she immediately walked away. Blink. She left me with a wink that suggested, I'll be back soon. Okay then, that meant I'd have time to kill. Had some time to kill until then. But about that. Russell, Russell. Clatter, clatter. しかにマイナスの点が出ない方法ですが、隅っこで縮こまっているのは、ずるいんじゃなくて、もっと参加者の方とコンタクトを取りなさいな。Oh It was the foreign language we Japanese were most familiar with, but still. Excuse me? Jibber jabber, jibber jabber. Huh? The older man suddenly started to speak to me. Mina chan, help. <coughs> Bro. Uh, a greeting? If I had to go with an English greeting, let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. A decision. I believe I have like my little guide for Sylvie's route, so uh, let me do that real quick. Hold on one sec. Try to communicate somehow. It says it do. So uh, that's what we're going to do. It says we have to do it correctly, too. I'm not sure for what exactly, but yeah. Try to communicate somehow. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, hello, yay, he said. Yes, <laughs> yay. 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 <laughs> yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> you are so good, guy. Pat, pat. For whatever reason, the older man gave me a quick pat on the back. I went on his merry way. What in the world was that all about? <laughs> Somehow managed to overcome the barrage of English barrage barrage of English speakers around me. Kikuchiyo. Kikuchiyo. I ran into one familiar face. Awesome. This had almost been enough to make me weak in the knees. Yeah, why are you here? Kondo, Lokonji got Torishkisre. Taino Taishi got Kito Radino de. Go I Satsgatera. Sanka Sasteta Dai Timase. I see. Hey, you can speak English, right? Wow. I'm just gonna stay close to you. He was a smart guy, so he picked up on how distressed I was in no time. Shut up. Minachan gave her approval. On that note, my technique during a time of distress relied on my friend's capabilities. What? So, um, what do you think, Minachan? Hmm? 
はいと言っても僕は歓待される側なのでメニューは聞いてませんがちょうどよろしいですわゲロテストしますわよおおフレンチダイニング That was the field Minachan had drilled into me the hardest during her etiquette course. I was confident I'd absorbed the material, but that would just make it all the worse if I messed up. Thanks. Sure. I followed two of them into the hall. Glance. I'll look to Sylvie. It appeared she was having a friendly conversation in English, almost like speaking it were second nature, with a black national from some country. She likely noticed my eyes on her and smiled sweetly at me. All right. I was fired up. I headed in. Yeah, me too. <laughs> His face. <laughs> Uh, we all held out our glasses on Kikuchiya's lead. Minachan and I held up our glasses filled with lemon scented sparkling water. The foreigner of Asian descent said to be our dining companion promptly began to speak to Kikuchiya in English. There were several other stolen looking Caucasians seated around us, but this person was the only one who spoke. That should mean that the only ones meant to speak were that man and Kikuchiya. What a lifesaver. I could just concentrate on my meal. With some tension, I adjusted my seat and spread out my napkin. Should I be alright so far? Next. Huh? Out came a huge plate of lettuce and tomato. There was also this ginger looking stuff and something carroty. Anyway, a whole bunch of veggies. Now then. Oh. Let's see here. It says take the outermost fork and knife. Wait. Take the outermost fork and knife. I was spur of the moment, but I held the fork and knife in each hand. As a pauper, this struck me as a bizarre, but it was the French way to use the most extravagant quote for all's the of all. All's the of all. How do you pronounce that? Do wielding these shiny, sparkling silver utensils is the proper way. So, so this one. Time to dig in. I found it difficult to eat salad with a fork, but I somehow made it through with the aid of the knife. Fold it together, fold it together. Much. Yes. It went well. Despite how flimsy the lettuce was, if I used the knife to hold it together, I could easily pierce through. Screech! Oh! Ah, sorry. I messed up. I accidentally scratched against the plate. It produced an awful sound, not unlike Nell screeching against the black part. <laughs> Those at the table across reacted, then grimaced a bit. Ah, uh, I failed. Oh no. The whole the were taken away. And next came the soup. Wait, 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 wait. Nothing to worry about here. I would eat this with my spoon. The whole point was to eat your food, not to drink it. Doing otherwise would be in poor taste. I brought each individual spoonful into my mouth before I washed it down. So then, now that I was done the last of the soup. Wait, which was it again? There was a French and English style by which she scooped up from the front or the back. I like to do this the French way. It says here the scoop up from the back. Like this, right? Yeah. This was the correct style. I polished off my soup. Ah, but I couldn't scoop it out cleanly. It let out an awful squeaky noise if I kept this up, but the plate would be dirty if I left it like this. So... <clears throat> uh, uh, two. The waiter brought out the bread. He left us with two baguette-looking pieces. Let's see. They were etiquette for this, too. First, tear them into bite-sized pieces. Oomph. This was how it was done. Hmm, this baguette was delicious. It might not even need butter. I did wish I had a bit more salt content though. I bet it'd be delicious if I dipped it in the soup. Uh, no, eat it as this, I think, right? Yep. No, eat it as this. Better stop. It was kind of a waste to leave anything in the plate, but oh well. Afterward came the fish course. Carpaccio, carpaccio, Was it the thing with sashimi with dressing on it? This I liked. It was easy to eat with a fork and it was boneless. I began to eat. Mm -hmm. This was easiest. Next was... 
お飲み物のおかわりはではオレンジジュースをあお水をお願いしますわ I'll have water too I had run out of my first drink I was feeling awfully thirsty I was just hoping for a refill too There shouldn't be any problem if I ordered the same thing as Mina chan either I waited a short while Oh? Water came out in an unexpectedly large bowl. It was sober and exceptionally sizable. Oh well, fine by me, I guess. Let's see here, it says the don't drink yet. Right? I had a bad feeling about this. Better not drink. When? Oh? I wasn't sure why, but the waiter brought glasses of water out afterward, along with napkins at the same time. Minachan took her glass and napkin, then put her fingers into the silver bowl of water. She dabbed them in the wash, then wiped them on the napkin. Ah, don't tell me this bowl was for it. Uh, nothing. I hadn't done anything to be ashamed of. About the time we cleansed our fingers in the finger bowls, our bone and meat dishes came out. Lamp something or other was coated in a sweet and sour sauce. Oh well, let's eat. The fact we cleaned our fingers meant it was okay to use our hands for this. This was one easy. This one was easy since I could get a firm grip on the bone. I proceeded to cut it into bite-sized pieces. Then, clang. Ah, uh, I dropped my fork. Let's see, it says, wait a second. My body is naturally moved to pick it up for a second, but I stopped. <laughs> yes, this was the one point in which I needed to be the most cautious. A waiter came over a moment later, picked it up, and took it away. After a short wait, a replacement came out. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, had I picked it up, it would have been poor manners. I made it through safely. The meat course was delicious. For that matter, the spot of the meal was a total breeze. All that was left was dessert and post-meal drinks. Not having anyone badgering me about any specific etiquette was a huge load off for me. <sighs> Scrumptious. Sorry. Minachan was still on pins and needles, but I was in a lighthearted mood. I gobbled my food up in no time. Okay, now that I finished eating. Oh? How did I place my knife and fork after I finished eating again? I was supposed to place them on the right side of the plate, if I recall correctly. But I'm sure there was an English and French down to this, too. How did I do it when I ate her last? Here? <laughs> if I remembered right. Oh, I had it at all. When I ate with iroi and the rest before I drank that alcohol before I passed out. Crap, I hadn't prepared enough. No, come down me. Ring your gentlemanly incense out from within, and that answer will come to you naturally. The French style was... Place them horizontally to the side. I set them down horizontally to the side. This was the I'm done with this plate sign, if I recalled. <laughs> After that, we ate dessert. Our dinner party ended on a cheery note. We went back to the hall. <sighs> Exhaustion set in hard. I'm beat. Mina, shut up. Jeez, can never win with you. God dang. Relentless. Thank you for that. Sure. We split up with Kikuchio. Minachan and I were left behind. Hey. Yeah. I was so nervous. Man. Seriously. Oh, ho, ho, finally some uh, praise from this woman. Mina-chan smiled brightly. It was rare for her to smile so genuinely at me. Seriously. Even though she was strict with me. That only proved just how favorable a light Mina-chan saw my etiquette today. She was simply overjoyed. 
人がもっと仲良しさんになってくれてよかった、はあ、でもいいわね2人はご飯食べられてあそういえばお姉さまはずっと挨拶回りよもうお腹ペコペコうんエルがつまむものは持ってきてくれるけどあまり頻度が高くないし Sounded pretty rough for a gluten like Sylvie. Ma, demo, this so good case can you must be out of a car, so not a hecky none of the kid. So we giggled and plucked up some chocolate on a nearby table. How can you am I one of the other? Ah, it's quite a she popped two or three in her mouth at once. On to a my one of the other, she tossed another four or five in her mouth. The way she ate was a little improper, and Mina Chan looked visibly concerned by her behavior. Boy. Ways. <laughs> she hugged her. Hey now, Sylvie. All eyes focused on Sylvia as she suddenly began to shout and fool around. They were sisters, so all the onlookers just grinned, but this was definitely improper. <laughs> For whatever reason, Mina Chan had an enraptured look in her eyes upon Sylvia's embrace. Her. God, this chocolate. These ones Sylvia just ate. They had vodka gelatin inside. They kind of had an even higher alcohol content than whiskey. These were the type where you lit the contents on fire to flam the chocolate before you ate it. If you binge ate these so quickly. Oh, this was bad. Anyone with an ounce of common sense should tell, could tell she was drunk. She obviously wasn't falling flat on her back like I'd done last time, but still. <laughs> what was that? Hey, hang on a second. She was trying to embrace me, too. It could be dismissed as a joke with Mina chan, but it'd be bad with me. M Mina chan, what should we do about this? Sylvie. We crammed her into a nearby room. Well, there. What an absolute disaster. Who gave her the vodka, bro? Just as you would expect from a party where national representatives had gathered, they quickly dispersed once the designated time came. You good now? Once so we finished seeing off the final guest, an exhausted look crossed her face. For real? Alright. I had gotten an inkling of it, but now we'd gotten permission. Uh, right, right. Ria would be making an appearance as Maria the day after tomorrow, so that was something to look forward to. So. That means I can have you all day tomorrow? <laughs> of course I do. I'd make time even if I didn't. I finished off everything I had to get done before today. Minachan smiled meaningfully. Now I got it. This was why she whined so much about that big cleanup this morning. Looks like I had a dependable ally. <laughs> Oof, it's hard to come up with something on the spot. There were things I wanted to do, but there were far too many options for me to choose from. We'd give it some thought before we met up tomorrow. But yeah, what should I do? All alone with Sylvie. Hmm, besides break her back. An unexpected first, huh? I suppose. Oh my god, we're so close to Sylvie's end. I'm a little sad. <laughs> now then, December 23rd, Christmas Eve. Eve? For me personally, I finally felt like to start a winter break. If I viewed this as the first day, then it made for the best beginning possible. Now that all of my homework was done and I'd finished cleaning, I could spend the rest of my vacation having fun. 
Is this how people who finished their summer break homework during July felt? Okay. Now that I had a girlfriend, I figured I ought to do this. Oh. She leapt into my arms and I caught her. I tossed her under the bed. Ah, ah, it's terrible. Ah, ah, my desire for you is strong, too strong. Mauled? <laughs> so we sounded delighted. Hmm? As she sprawled out a fantastic angle, she fished through her pocket. Hmm? Then she empathetically held up. Condoms? Wow, uh, these are the crazy expensive kind. I didn't know much about them, but they were seemingly made from incredible materials and sold for s around 5,000 yen per dozen. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. Obviously, I had never used them before. Oh, feeling risky, I see. <laughs> I was a little unsure how to reply. I knew how she felt, but it would be a huge problem if she got pregnant. But after doing it so many times, I actually began to love Sylvie deeply enough that I started wanting to have kids with her as soon as we could. Don't do that. Do not do that. Do not do that. But after doing it so many times, I actually began to love Sylvie deeply enough that I started wanting to have kids with her as soon as we could. Don't do that. That's not how it goes, Sylvie. When you invite a Japanese boy to bed, you don't go, Hey, come on. It's more like, No, that's embarrassing. What? The downside of Sylvie's aggressive nature had come out. Her attitude was, of course, questionable, but I was being enticed by this beautiful blonde haired girl. As much as I love the charge in this very second, why don't we go out somewhere first? I doubt we'll be able to stop once we get started and we'll waste the whole day. Jeez. We headed out for now. Yep. She noticed how ridiculously, ridiculously disappointed I was. Her ability to lead the moon, read the moon, was a lifesaver. Seriously. Yeah, that's basically it. There's no way I could be mad when you put it that way. Hmm. Yeah. She pointed as if to say, over here, over here. So I followed after her. As for where we were headed. Hmm. Oh, of course. It was a place both of us were quite familiar with. Very familiar with. <laughs> that reminds me, Sobi. You usually only come around here at night. I assume she came here all the time after we'd use the space for our tea parties. But those only occurred at night. It really is really nice. I love the art. We were here all the time when we were younger, right? So we had a nostalgic look in her eyes. We became good friends at camp, but so we didn't fit in with those around her and was often excluded from the group. The three of us, we included, met up here often. Yeah. Uh, not at all, actually. I remembered coming here a long time ago. But that was it. I couldn't remember anything other than that fact. Except bunning her at night. Here, in this very spot. Huh? Your and Ryo's memories are almost too strong at times. This was 10 years ago, after all. Quite a bit of time had passed for me to remember my past with Sylvia and Ria at that point. 
but it looked like the door to my memories had remained locked. I couldn't remember anything. I'd honestly reached the point where I thought it might be best that way. <clears throat> Sorry. I remember the tents, but I recall fooling around with my male friends, but not at all with Sylvie. Ah, that reminds me. Yeah, it came back to me. Back when I thought Ria was a boy, I'd invite her to go take a league with me all the time. I thought she was weird for not taking me up on it, but now I get it. She couldn't go into the men's bathroom. Man, that's one long time mystery solved. Sorry. I vaguely remember this spot. If I recall, this used to be a church back in the day. Oh, now that they mention it, it does look like a church. It really does look like a church. It was all run down and pretty scary looking back then. Church close to the lake. It's pretty. If I had to describe it, but such an inaccessible meeting place was worthless in a religiously barren place like Japan. It's nearly as dilapidated as a Shinto shrine deep in the mountains. Someone did seem to have been managing it through. Though. 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 For the record. Oh, but I think he had a piano even back in the day. There was a piano there and still worked, so I recall us messing around with it. It looks just as dilapidated as the building, so it should be different from the one there now, though. Are those different somehow? <laughs> oh, my bad, Sylvia. I'm sorry. Huh? She probably remembers everything just because she's liked him since little, so that, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, definitely for that reason. <laughs> He's like, man, what do I say? Not a bit. Silver looked like she was enjoying herself. It bugged me a little. But maybe I felt the same. The past wasn't the only reason why we were attracted to one another. We happened to meet and had fallen in love. Hmm, are you sure you did? How are pianos and organs different? Sorry, you have to start with the difference between string and wing instruments. They're that different? Oh, you really sound like you know your stuff. The two of us left the academy and headed into town together. We didn't have a particular destination in mind. But our feet naturally led us here after our earlier conversation. Oops. So we headed in the nearby bakery. She bought five loaves of melon bread. Yeah, this is a special occasion, so why don't we eat them now? I took one. Assuming Suri would also eat one. What are you going to do with the other three? We'll have to carry them around. <laughs> Never mind. Suri had two loaves in each hand and was eating four melon breads at once. As long as she was happy, that's what mattered. Sure are. They were delicious. According to Reina, these were the best in town. 
These would be worth coming to buy even if you snuck out of the academy at lunch to do so. Exactly there. Guess so. We stopped in an empty sidewalk near the bakery. This is where I wanted to come. I remember this place perfectly. <laughs> yeah. If you told me that in the first place, things might not have gotten so complicated. She squinted her eyes reminiscently. There do seem to be princesses with a talent for fortune telling, so who knows? I don't remember. I was already in the days. I was convinced it was the sight of an abduction that I was desperate to escape. But if I had to say, I knew how to do something though. I was super depressed that day and that's when I found you. I thought she was being kidnapped. There's no way I'd ever prance over and protect some girl in their normal circumstances and I would have called the police instead. The word depressed seemed to come close to describing how I felt at the time. Hmm, yeah. Everything fell apart the day before, you know? That whole thing with the vocalist dropping out of Chiaka's light music band? I guess I had to told- I guess I had told Sylvia about it before. She remembered well. Hmm? At the time, I had made a huge mess of that baseball club and music club, and I had already quit school. And it was like salt in the wound when I found out Chiaka's band had been dissolved. My attempts to show off backfired in every possible way, and I caused a lot of trouble for a bunch of people. I wanted to act cool, which was probably why I jumped right in to save you. <laughs> At least I ended up hurting me around, didn't she? Either way, we have not talented enough to act cool or show off. Crap, the mood turned gloomy. We sat there in silence with nothing clever to say. <laughs> so we thought something over, and... あたしを助けてくれたオーロは本当にかっこよかったわよ。そんなこと言わないで。あの日、あの瞬間、かっこいいオーロが大好きになった私がバカみたいじゃない。さあ、それに、チエカちゃんだってきっとそう思ってる。
Or maybe today was my total chance, so I doubt she'd brought him here on purpose. That's what the mirror is. You good? I see you still get as frenzied as a fanboy. <laughs> Don't be angry, Sylvie. He didn't do it alone. The happy go lucky Sylvie was, in a rare turn, aggressive with someone on their first meeting. <laughs> the total flip side of her affection for me, huh? Better not say a word. Well, <laughs> Jeez. This is so uncomfortable. Uh, I figured. I knew how he felt. They needed someone to blame in that situation and I was the one who took the fall for it. That was all there was to it. The decision to quit the club and drop out was mine alone and I didn't intend to complain on that front. God dang, Sylvie got our back. Sylvie's argument was completely sound, so Torio couldn't only go in, ugh, in response. And... If I had to say, that one comment resonated with me the most. I see. Yeah, I fully agree with her. This guy, as well as everyone on the baseball club, were totally lame. And for that matter... そもそもその前、オーロ一人いないから負けたってのがもうかっこ悪くて。でもそのオーロは、シエカちゃんの妹のために監督に逆らって干されたわけだ。そんなかっこいいことされたら、ああなりますよ。おう。こう。トリオ
snack. <laughs> Dang, that's crazy. Single loaf might be different, but four was definitely beyond the capacity for a snack. Oh well, we headed to the neighboring town. And there? Kikuchiyo! Yeah! Hey, the owner just so happened to be in. I have to end it there. I just realized I froze my timer because someone came in right now in my room and I was talking to them and I forgot the freaking. I forgot the freaking stop sooner. Oh my gosh. I went way overboard. <laughs>